hello everyone. It seems we didn't quite get the storm they were expecting. That's a good thing. I mean, I don't mind for all the snow. They were talking about ice, and it looks like the temperatures were warm enough that when the wind blew, it dried up a lot of the roadways. And that's good because right now, with the wind chill, it's in the teens. So that is a good thing. Because we'd have a lot of issues if there wasn't on the roadways. And I'm heading down to the store. Tonight's taco night. And we realized we didn't have sour cream. So I gotta go down to get some sour cream. And I gotta pick up some more milk. I don't drink a lot of milk. I drink very, very little milk. Um, just doesn't happen with me anymore. But we only buy like the, the pint, or not the pint, like a half gallon or the next one under, I don't know. So. But it's beautiful out. There's enough snow on the ground that really looks nice. I hope we get more snow than we got. I was supposed to go to the, uh, up to my brother's uh, farm up northern PA this weekend, but that didn't happen. I was concerned about the weather. They got a lot of snow up there, and uh, he's up in the mountain regions. And uh, I was concerned about getting back home today, so I decided not to go. So I could uh, make sure I got home. Because tomorrow I start my new job. I want to make sure I was be able to be able to get there the, the first day. It wouldn't wouldn't look good if I was stuck somewhere and couldn't get to my new job on the first day. So just a nice Sunday drive. practicing my writing with my fountain pen I think I mentioned this before I got a fountain pen a while back nice one not a bad one made in Germany and uh, I've been practicing my writing with it and then uh, really been practicing over the past few days because I'm home uh, not up at my brother's farm he calls it the farm uh, I call it a cabin but it's not, it's more like a farm it's got, it's got a lot of acreage there but uh, I've been practicing my writing and uh, getting pretty good at it so hopefully I get to the point where I'm comfortable with it then I can start writing my personalized notes out that way and actual letters cards and stuff like that and I got a few ideas for some stuff that I want to do um, that I'd like to do and uh, I'd like to uh, sorry I have to look for the traffic I'd like to uh, do some crafty things with that so, um, I was talking to my wife today. It's it's funny how when when your kids grow up and they move on and they're they've got their lives, you find things to fulfill that void and fulfill that need of of uh, you know I don't know doing something. And uh, for me, it's you know smoking pipe, my fountain pen writing. Learning, you know, learning to better get better, not learning, but getting better in my penmanship so I can write 
and uh, write, literally handwrite. I'm working on some short stories I'm typing into my computer right now. I've been reading. You know, I have my YouTube channel. I have my podcast. Um, things that I enjoy. And uh, you find things to uh, occupy yourself with that bring much uh, joy, you know, and fulfillment. And uh, they're very relaxing. The, the, the writing, and I'm not talking just, you know, just start writing. I'm talking take your time, neatly write out each letter. It's really neat. I'll show you some examples. Um, I equate that with uh, um, smoking pipe. It forces you into a sense of patience, relaxation. Uh, I, I tend to find that when I'm writing with the fountain pen, uh, which is all I'm going to be writing with any where, anytime, signing things, anything, signing my name, anything, so I can get good at it, but when I find when I'm sitting there writing, and right now I'm practicing, so I'm writing out things like, uh, to use every letter in the alphabet, the quick fox jumped over the lazy dogs, that's every letter in the alphabet right there um, that you use, so I'm writing that over and over and over and over, and what I'm finding is, that uh, it relaxes me. Some people color, like they have adult coloring books now. They even have apps on your phone that you can do coloring. Some people do puzzles. Um, uh, some people do, my wife does cross stitch and she colors. Well, I'm just not a coloring guy, you know. But I, the writing, it's, it, it is, it's making it an enjoyable thing to do, writing. It's, it's art. It is an art form. So I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's just, it's so relaxing. And it does, it reminds me of when I smoke my pipe. I get into a relaxed rhythm. My breathing changes. My, believe it or not, my heart rate goes down when I'm smoking pipe. And when I'm writing on the fountain pen, I haven't measured my heart rate. But I have with smoking pipe. And my heart rate in sitting, resting, is down uh, low 70s, upper 60s. That is excellent for a guy my size at a resting heart rate. Uh, and I'm sure it's about the same when I'm writing. But I haven't I haven't taken my heart rate, which I can easily. But, uh, anyhow, I'm getting better at it. And I'm enjoying it. And I'm hoping to display some of what I do with the writing um, as I go along I'll share that with you but um, I bought some journals so I can start journaling with the fountain pen and I'm really excited about that I'm really excited about that so I'll probably start today um, I, I'm not a journal guy I don't journal I know people that write in a journal every day uh, I wish I was that disciplined. Actually, I'm becoming that guy. My father did a lot of journaling. He wrote a lot of stuff. And it's just neat to look back in some of the stuff he wrote and see that he just wrote about his experiences throughout the day. You know, and he even had a story that he shared in one of them. And it's pretty cool. Uh, about a squirrel that had a half tail and he called him half tail. It was his squirrel friend that lived outside the house. But it's really neat. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm forcing myself into journaling and making it fun. Because when I write regularly and I was trying to do journaling, I didn't like it. It just was, it seemed like it was too much work. My hands cramped up after a while. But when you're holding a fountain pen, you hold it a certain way. You don't squeeze it tight. You don't press hard. And you just, you flow you're flowing with the writing you're just it, it's hard to explain it's hard to explain check out some youtube channels that have uh, handwriting with fountain pens and stuff it's really cool but uh, i enjoy it i enjoy it a lot in downtown middletown 
it's uh, amazing. There's a fair amount of people out. It is cold today, folks. It is cold. Like I said, with the wind chill, it's down in the teens. So it's not very enjoyable to be outside. I didn't really want to have to go out, but um, I'm looking forward to tacos. So I like taco night. listening to my symphony music I'm just having a blast I mean it's just been this has been a probably one of the most relaxing weekends I have had in years in years um, so I'm very very thankful that I was able to have this weekend to relax um, normally when it's nice weather out we go and go and go we go find things to do we go antiquing we go do different things but pretty cool. I'm here at the grocery store so I am going to say goodbye for now. Oh by the way thank you Dublin Pipe for these fine sunglasses. Love them. They're great. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I know you have a pair and uh they're just great glasses. Anyhow, have a great day, everybody. Catch you on the next one.